Welcome to Grace and Lottie's Elizabeth here. I've undertaken a little bit of a project. It's here on my desk. Uh, so it all started with one reach out from a sponsor and uh, it kind of grew from there. Uh, Crafties was awesome and reached out and said, hey, would you look at one of our diamond paintings? Well, why stop at one diamond painting when you can do three? So I was curious. Um, is, do you really get more when you pay more? Uh, so I got three different ones and three different price points and I did all three. So <laughs> let's kind of jump in to show what I did with this. So we got our first one. This is Timu. It was under five bucks. Yeah. So it is little. You can see it is small, but it was under $5. <laughs> It didn't take too long. I still have one corner to do on all of these. I figured it was a good way to be able to show you guys the canvas as well, what it looks like. Uh, so right here, we can look at the canvas. I will zoom in. Let's zoom in right here. So what you can see is that the canvas looks really, really nice right here. Like I can see most of these pretty well. There's only 20 colors in this one. So only 20. They all fit nicely in my organizer that I got for this project. Let me pull out one little thing because I can show you right here. I thought I'd be able to organize in that. I was wrong because there were a lot more dots coming. <laughs> but this was all of the ones because I like to kind of save which ones are kind of misfits out of the dots to kind of see how many misfits were in the package. Not a whole lot with this. It went down fine. Uh, spots where there wasn't a lot of color was like right in here. You can see right here that I didn't have a lot of color definition. There wasn't, there didn't appear to be a lot of contrast in this one in spots. In other spots, tons. Like you can see the swirl for being smaller. It's a little smaller, but then we get up here in the moon and it's like, oh, we suddenly drop to one color here when the actual painting has a ton. So here's the actual painting. We can do a side-by-side, -side. let's zoom back out. Side-by-side -side comparison. So here is the Timu. And for your sake, I will put a digital copy up because it'll be a lot easier than seeing the one that I've got right here, but I'm gonna be looking at it so I can compare little bits. So one of the things they weren't able to do just because the smaller size is you can't cut in on these pieces as much as you would like because his painting, because of the way the layers are, there's little chops in it. And of course, this is Van Gogh's Starry Night. We did the same image in all of these because, you know, that's how we can compare them. Uh, the village is lost down here. Look, like this is supposed to be a steeple like right here. I don't see the steeple. Do you guys see the steeple? <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to see it. And um, it kind of completely disappeared. So we have no idea that this is a village with this one. Was it enjoyable to do? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Did it turn out as great as the others? Not so much. We will finish this one and I will have a comparison at the very end on all of these, just so you can see 100% finished. So next we're gonna go to the crafties. This is our middle of the road option. It is right around $15. You've got, I've got codes and stuff, so you can look down there below. Uh, pretty good. Um, the tree is a little flat. Um, I think we actually had more uh, dynamic looks in the other tree, but look right here. I can tell where the steeple is. Yay! <laughs> so we're getting a little bit more of the idea of the village. We can see a roof here coming in, um, the corner down here. This one ran into the problem because we had a lot of colors. This one had 33. This is like, you can see when I did the unboxing for this for the review video for it, this was a hefty pack. But I learned something with this one. I learned that I really like working out of plastic bags. And this one came with bags. They actually were already bagged with labels. So that was super, super nice. It came with tweezers. It came with two uh, pens with multiple sizes of um, multi-daughters, which I loved. I found I really liked the three. Uh, with it. So that was really, really nice. So all of those tools together made this a lot better to do. And this came with it. I mean, 
you can see all of the colors here and the bags were a good quality so I didn't have to worry about them breaking. We were gonna get to the bags in a minute. But I was a little bit let down by just the contrast. This one is a little bit more muted in its colors versus the original one. One of the things with the Van Gogh is like you get a lot of bright colors and like in this swirl it tended to gray. Now would that mean that it would probably work a little bit better in decor? Probably. So if you're wanting one that's not going to be so bright and possibly garish for some people on your wall, this might be your option right here. It all, and it's midpoint for price range on this it makes it pretty attractive on it. I did notice that there were two shades of blue up here. Those two shades were like right on top of each other. It's hard to tell that there are two shades in this, but there are. Um, so anything else on this one? There were some spots too where the key was a little bit difficult to tell some of them apart. Like I'm sitting here having to lift and do it. If you use a light box, you're not gonna have any issues. I do not personally have a light box for doing diamond painting. So couldn't illuminate over from the back to make it a little bit easier. So if you have one of those, go for it. You're gonna want it. It's probably gonna make this a lot easier and a lot faster <laughs> than what I did. And then the last one, the Diamond Dots, which was like $29, $28.99. I got it over at Hobby Lobby. I've got to put this on the floor. I don't have a lot of room. Um, it, you can see, is a lot of color. There is so much contrast and it was like crazy. Like, look, here's the church. However, the colors are not 100% true to the painting. So that's something to take into account. So while this has incredible contrast, like all of the bits are all, are so bright and vivid, and I love color, like I adore color. So this is the one I'm probably the most drawn to by color. It isn't the actual painting. If you look at the actual painting, there's not a whole lot of purples in it. This one has a lot of purples. This one had the most colors, 38 different dots in this one, different colors, which is great. The dots and diamond dots are shaped a little bit different than other ones, so know that going in. And with this one, because of that different shaping, I had, I'm looking for my little thing, I had a lot more uh, misfits in this that kind of came through the process. Um, you can easily get diamond dots accessories at your local store. So if you want more trays or different pins or more wax, you can get that as well. So that's a plus. I always like open stock on things as well as you can get diamonds from them in the little containers too. So plus on that. So we got open stock as an option. So also that means that if you wanted to, you could replace some of these with some shimmery ones and have a little bit. A uh, little bit of fun with that. However, the bags. This came with nine bags in it. And this is the little package. I saved some of it right here. These bags that it came with are the most flimsy bags I can imagine. I'm, I like working with them. I got my own ones out. Like these, I do not think would have made it through the number of times I was opening and closing them as I was working my way around. I do not think that. Um, so it feels more like nice gesture, but not really gonna be super helpful. And the fact that there are 38 colors and nine bags, not, I, I don't know how I would have made that necessarily work with working on a whole project. Now, if it's something that you do regularly with them, you probably have another organizational system that you use. Another plus, uh, that was kind of a downer on this, but another plus on this is these different symbols. I have done a lot of cross stitch and these symbols were more like cross stitch symbols. And for me, that made it a lot easier to see them on the canvas. I was able to tell them apart a lot more easily than I could on the other one. There's a little more color contrast uh, with it as well. So for me, that worked great. If you're probably not used to it, you're probably like, what in the world? Like trying to decode some weird symbols might be a little bit more difficult, but I liked it. I'm gonna let you know that I found it as a plus. So which one would I recommend? 
out of these so far. I'm going to finish these. I will show you the finished pictures at the end. So don't like worry. They will not be just sitting here with one square undone. <laughs> um, I think that for me, ultimately, I would recommend the diamond dots a little bit more just because I like color contrast. But if you're looking for something in that more muted and neutral space, the Crafties one was better. The Timu one at five bucks, if you're not planning on hanging anywhere and you're just wanting something to do, you can do that because it's going to be a cheaper option, obviously, with that. All of both the Timu and the Crafties were DMC matched for their colors, so that makes it nice to be able to share dots and store them and use in other projects if you want. Uh, Diamond Dots does not follow that uh, numbering uh, system, but I would go with this one for my personal taste. The other one, I feel like more neutral, as I just said, the crafties, and Timu if you're just looking for a hobby, like something that I'm gonna probably put in a drawer and not put anywhere, which does seem kind of strange to do if you do art, but I do understand that these things do kind of add up after you've done a couple of projects. So that is my take on it. I hope you've enjoyed this. This was quite the undertaking to do this. It was a couple of weeks worth of work, so I am glad that I have pretty much finished this and, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and uh, consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews as well as some content that takes longer periods of time to create. And I'd like to have you all on the journey with me on that. Um, as well as uh, we've got a coloring book, so you can go check that out as well. I'm excited that that came out. It's the first one. There are more coming. So keep your eyes open as well. So links below for everything. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.